Happy Thanksgiving, guys. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. On November 23rd, gobble gobble at 12.56 p.m. A lot of you are asking about a huge uptick in earthquakes predicted in 2018 as it relates to the slowdown in the spin of the Earth. So let's uh, cut to the chase and get the facts and uh, learn something together. Now what this prediction states is that because the Earth's rotation is slowing, this is going to cause an uptick in large earthquakes. Now two geologists may have spotted a surprisingly simple correlation that can help predict earthquakes. And if they're correct, the Earth is on track for an uptick in major quakes in the next year. The pair poured over a century's worth of data on earthquakes and detected a pattern when the Earth's rotation slows, as it does periodically, the slowdown is followed by an increase in earthquakes with a magnitude of 7 or greater. Boom! The research published in the Geophysical Research Letters, and you can, well, I'll give you links to this, but I need to pay $6 to rent this paper for 48 hours, and I'm not going to do that. Feel free to read the abstract. Do weak global stresses synchronize earthquakes? So... This basically concludes that weak stresses on the Earth due to rotational fluctuations synchronize large quakes. And that's what these guys determined. So we can expect to see two to five major earthquakes more than normal in 2018, or 17 to 20, according to science. And that's the magazine, not the actual thing, because that's really in a sad state. So the Earth offers us a five-year heads-up on future earthquakes, which is remarkable, says Roger Bilham of the University of Colorado, who detected the correlation with Rebecca Bendick at the University of Montana. Exactly where these quakes will take place is fuzzier. Probably on a subduction zone, though, <laughs> is what I would think. But typically, the increase shows up in regions along the equator. The researchers aren't sure how to explain this. One theory is that it involves nearly imperceptible changes in the flow of molten iron in the Earth's core. And that's where everyone's leaning towards today. There's some kind of sloshing effect happening. So since the last Ice Age, guys, and that event that caused the mass extinction 12,900 years ago, the, all the ice melted in the northern hemisphere, and now there's isostatic rebound. The Earth is swelling up there. And the opposite is supposedly happening at the equator, and with the sloshing in the core, think of it as a ballerina bringing her hands in and spinning faster and out, slower. So the sloshing of the inner core is causing the Earth to go faster and slower on a decadal scale. Now I'll leave you links to this article, which is quite interesting, about ancient eclipses showing Earth's rotation is slowing. And this is the background data. There have been about a million days since 1720 BC, says Leslie Morrison who apparently owns a calculator. But what you're going to glean from this is that overall, the Earth's spin has slowed six hours in the last 2,740 years. That sounds like a lot, but it works out to the duration of a 24-hour day being 1.78 millisecond, milliseconds over the course of 100 years. So we have one leap second set onto the clock every 100 years. But this is the important thing here in this article, superimposed on the long-term slowing trend are small-scale decadal to decade variations in spin rate. These glitches are apparently from astronomical obser observations of occultations of stars by the moon, miniature eclipses that occur when the moon passes in front of distant stars. The variations stem from momentum shifts between the Earth's liquid outer core and the solid mantle that overlies it. It's what I was just talking about. I will also leave you links to this. Is the Earth's rotation slowing? And the answer. And also, this paper. Earth's rotation is mysteriously slowing down. Experts predict uptick in 2018 earthquakes. So if we just go out to USGS... We can see a large amount of moderate quakes happening still. And this has been pervasive for weeks. So it's a heads up.
There will be an uptick according to this data in 2018. And now couple that with what we know about cosmic ray flux and what happens in grand solar minimums. If you do your homework and your research, you will find that the correlation between cosmic ray flux and large earthquakes and volcanism is very high. And then if we add in the slowing of the Earth's rotation, boom, we are going to have an interesting solar minimum the next few years, guys. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do so now. Check out our Patreon. Give us support. And be safe.